Well, good morning and welcome to the vlog. And as you know, we typically have a morning workout. Today's is a doozy. It is uh, the hero wad called Whitman and it will whip you. That doesn't make sense. That's terrible. Anyway, here it is, all right? So this is the workout. It is 15 kettlebell swings, 15 power cleans at 95 pounds and then 15 box jumps. Now the recommended for the kettlebell swing is 53 for the men, 35 for the ladies, 95, 65 on the power cleans, and then 24 and 20 on the box jumps. All that to say, get ready for your little grippers to hurt when you are done. And uh, drinking my coffee this morning afterwards and my hand was doing this number. <laughs> it's a good one. Check it out. Whitman. Get it. Grimo is sick today, so I'm hanging with him at the, his house. Got anything you want to say, buddy? It's sad. It's sad. Doesn't feel all that great. By the way, the lighting in here is amazing, though. <laughs> Not really, I don't think. Oh, yeah, look at this picture. Hey, dude. Hi. Not feeling well. He's got a sore throat, cough. Uh, what else is shaking? Had fever all day yesterday. He's getting close to back to normal though, except for the cough. Probably be home again tomorrow. But here's the crazy thing. Are you ready? Graham, what did we discover? Today, the earphones are its perfect axis. We was reading on the interwebs and we saw that the earth is on its perfect axis, which means you can actually balance a broom uh, upright today. So watch this. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Look at it, look at it. Ain't nobody touching it. Ain't nobody holding it. It's doing its thing. All right, so check this out. Here we go, here we go, boom. Look, nobody's holding it. It's just there. Right, Graham? Yeah. He's too busy playing video games. He doesn't care. Watch. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Hold on. All right, so here I am editing this broom challenge video. Been messing with it all afternoon. Owen's been loving it. And I'm looking up like, when's the next date for the broom challenge so I can put it in the video for you if you missed it, all this fun stuff. And then I'm reading stuff that it's a hoax. You can do this any day. It doesn't have anything to do with rotation, axis, pull, gravity, none of that. I guarantee you I'm trying it tomorrow. But man, that just proves the show, doesn't it? How easy, if it is a hoax, I don't know for sure. I'm still doing the research. I'll let you know. But here's the thing, like, doesn't that show how quickly we can fall for something that is out there on social media, right? Somebody started that today. That's where I saw it. So then I did it and people commented on mine and saw it and it just kept blowing up. Is it a hoax? Let me know, comment, let me know. So much excitement, yet frustration all at the same time. Watch. 
Watch. Watch. Do you think it's fake? I don't think it's fake. It won't stand up. been duped. Look at this article. Hate to break it to you, but you can make a broom stand up right any day of the year. Oh my gosh. No. Social media, you've done it again. The internet, you win. Look, people are even doing it in the middle of Walmart, setting it up, putting them all out. You can do this any day, apparently. Any day you wanted to. And look, all the way back at 2012, because this myth has been around that long. So here's the funny thing. If you stick around for the rest of the vlog, I'm talking about how I wasn't on social media for 40 days. Guess what? If I didn't have social media, I wouldn't have been standing up a broom all day yesterday. Good gosh. So today is February 10th, and uh, it is the conclusion of, or actually a couple days ago, it was the conclusion of 30 days without an Instagram account, uh, social media. Uh, I took a break. Um, I meant to take a break from Facebook and Instagram, but then I was missing messages and different things on Facebook, so I had to reload that. Um, but kept Instagram off my phone, and I can tell you, on a positive note, my screen time went down tremendously. I got a lot of other things accomplished uh, in the evenings, in the mornings, all those different things. Um, I was able to do my daily vlog. One of the pieces that I found myself struggling with in the very beginning was that I would actually, uh, I was in a habit. I was in a habit of pulling my phone out and looking at it in uh, like awkward social situations or waiting in the waiting room or any of those things. And I found that by kind of the end of the first week, when you don't have those apps on your phone that you tend to go to, uh, another one replaces it. And so I have this this app called Toon Blast. It's a game where you you know you line up four of something and it eliminates the line or whatever. And that was then my new go-to. Like I would, that was my time waster. And so. Uh, what I began to do was use that, yes, in like waiting for the boys in the line or something like that, but at least I wasn't on social media, right? So after like the second week, when I caught myself using this as now my new time waster, uh, I decided to just kind of limit myself on that and cut back in the amount of time that I used it. There's the heater. It just clicked on. Change in location. Could I survive without Instagram? I think absolutely. Uh, I don't think it would be a problem. I don't think it would be an issue. Uh, but again, just that little bit of disconnect. So, as I'm coming back to Instagram now, I am gonna try my best to find um, a, a healthy balance, right? A healthy balance of time on Instagram, but also um, not spending all my time on Instagram. Uh, so knowing enough, flipping through and scrolling through, but then also limiting my time and the time that I'm spending on Instagram. So I think one of the pros, whoops, sorry. I think one of the pros really was uh, just having a little bit more time, uh, finding that time and being able to, uh, you know, do something different, like read a book or work on videos or draw or do whatever uh, came my way. Um, and allowed me a little bit of time just to, to work on some other things that needed to be worked on. And so, yeah. So with hindsight being 2020, now it's February 11th, uh, I was writing or doing this vlog about social media and how it takes up our time and consumes our life and all those different things. 
And then the broom challenge comes around. Holy cow. Like, it's so clear and apparent how social media can kind of run our life, if you will. And so I wanna challenge you. I think if anything out of these 40 days, what I discovered is that I need to run my life and run my social media, not let my social media run my life. Even though I was subject to it just yesterday. Something to think about, something to fix, something to work on. Thank you.